Hey everybody, welcome back. Now, recently we did a video talking about my biggest secret for reading in a foreign language successfully. Now, I really enjoyed that video and it seems like it helped a lot of people and it maps extremely well to actually watching authentic content such as movies or television shows. Now, personally, I actually learned a truly astonishingly large amount of Japanese through even just a single drama. It was about 10 episodes and I, I cannot explain just like how much language is packed into a drama series. But the same goes for movies. So while in Japanese, I primarily use TV dramas to learn. With French, I for some reason just mostly found movies. I think there was just such an enormous amount of great cinema in French that that was my primary go-to resource. But the thing is watching movies and television shows in a foreign language is really, really hard. And so I'm gonna share with you today my go-to tip and method for at least setting myself up for success every time I try that in a new language. Essentially what you need to do is identify an initial starting unit. Now this obviously varies from movie to movie and from director to director and so on. But I found that in general, for most sort of average feature length movies between like one hour, one and a half, the first 10 to 15 minutes is pretty crucial. That's when we're really starting to see uh, at least most of the sort of important characters. That's when they sort of set the scene. We find out where the story's taking place. We might even see some backstories of those characters. It's pretty crucial. And so while with reading, the advice I gave was that you should really take the time to study in depth that first chapter of a book. I think with watching television shows and movies, you should really take the time to, you know, maybe watch the first 10 or 15 minutes all the way through without stopping. And you know what, if you're really enjoying it, there's no reason why you can't just watch the whole thing. I think with a movie, it's a lot easier to just watch the whole thing and see how much you can understand. Reading a book, it's a lot more difficult to just push through reading an entire novel if you're not really understanding what's going on. So with a movie, I would say either watch the whole thing and just see what you can catch and how much you can grasp or watch the first 10, 15 minutes and stop. But what I do think is really important is to go through and if you have the subtitles in the language of the movie, that is absolutely fantastic. If not, this is more difficult, but it can be done. And I would suggest you really just take that 10 minutes or 15 minutes, it's a much more manageable chunk of time and really try to study it. Go, you know, go back multiple times, pause it, use dictionaries, whatever you can. And I would also suggest having a notebook where you actually just take notes in your, in your native language, just on the general story. So write down who are the main characters, where does the story take place? What are some key things about the setup to the movie? Anything you can, because this essentially becomes a roadmap so that as you're watching the rest of the film, you can pause it at any time and refer back to this sort of map and be like, oh yeah, that's right. Uh, he's the main character and he's married to her. That's right, got it. And, and that it just really helps because so much of our time watching a movie or a TV show or reading a book, basically consuming any amount of authentic content in a foreign language, it's really like the, the cognitive load that it takes just to sort of try to catch words or grasp anything you can, it's really high. So if on top of all of that, you don't even know what's going on and you haven't even been able to figure out the main plot of the story, then it's just really overwhelming. Now, what I have found is that if you are able to really grasp well that first 10 to 15 minutes, whatever it might be, then this will really astoundingly boost your ability to understand through the rest of the film. So with reading, I have found that if I do this approach for the first chapter, so I'll read the whole chapter one time, then I'll go back, I will do a really intensive study approach for the first chapter, then I move on. I have found sometimes that you know, my first time through, I understood like 50% at best. I definitely struggled to get the main story even. I definitely couldn't really keep track of who was who, what was what. I found that after doing that intensive approach, chapter two, my comprehension actually increased to like 85 or even 90%. That is absolutely astonishing. And it's because I went into chapter two having all that context ready, locked and loaded, and I was just trying to keep up. I was trying to follow the story that I already knew. Now with movies, I've personally found this to be a bit more variable. I think the reason for that is that there are many more variables with movies, especially if you don't have subtitles. You know, very often you just don't hear the words. Very often you're not able to actually 
discern where one word begins and one word ends. There's like mumbling that could happen. You could have people talking over each other. The audio quality may not be as good. Whereas with a book, I find that you have an opportunity to understand every single word. You can see them on the page. But I can still say that I have found with this approach, sometimes the first time through, I understand pretty similar, maybe 50%. I sort of enough to kind of enjoy it, but with lots of questions. And I'm usually really ready to sort of dive in and figure out what the hell is going on. <laughs> so I found that, yeah, around 50% often the first time. And I have very often seen that after going through those first 10 or 15 minutes in detail, I can then watch the movie again. And I would say pretty consistently, my comprehension increases to like 70, 75%. Again, sometimes even higher, it just depends. But I have found that watching movies and TV shows is considerably harder. And again, it's because I feel like you don't always have the opportunity to understand every single word. Enjoy watching movies and TV shows and whatever else you want. I think that consuming native content and especially sort of really culturally important things, depending on the language and the place, you know, a great example is French when I was learning French, just so many great sort of films and the cinema is so important in French culture, just like the theater is important. And I remember sort of watching the renditions of Rhinoceros, for example, and then reading the script. And I just, it's such a joy, right? And it can really boost your motivation and just the overall experience learning a language. So I really think it's worth it. And I hope this sets you up for success.